Sir, we just lost communication shipwide. Switch to secondaries. They're a no-go. Backups are down as well. And the fire seems to be escalating. I'm seeing cascading system failures across the board. Main antenna and backup both down at the same time. If it calms down, the damage control team has no way of relaying the status of the fire. So are you trying to tell me that all communications are still out? Yeah. What the hell's being done? <laughs> <laughs> This is about you're making a big mistake. No, sure. We're confused. <sighs> Maybe we should have a trial to sort it all out. <sighs> After four years of fighting with those Cylon things, did you really think you could make a deal with them? <clears throat> <clears throat> throat> so where are your precious Cylons now? Take it from someone who died once. It's no fun. Let him go. Frack you. I could do this all day. Who's next? Racetrack? Connor? Let him go. All right, we need to get the hell out of here. Kara, now. Follow me. Please. Oh. Oh. Hang on, buddy. Oh. Hang on, you're gonna go. sugar next time in the galley, okay? Okay. Shane, you better uh, get her finished up and down to daycare. Uh, well, I don't know if she's got hair. In here! Go ahead, tap the grab for it! Hey, hey, easy, easy, easy! You want me? Fine! Just leave them out of it. Get her out of here! Move! <laughs> easy! Hey! Remember me, big man? From Pegasus? You and that toaster Tiro wasted my friend Thorn. Yeah. We didn't want that to happen. But you had a choice, but you backed the skin job over your own kind. And to prove how messed up it was, instead of showing you the airlock, your Cylon loving Admiral promoted you to gag. Frack you. Sorry. I'm saving myself for your sweet toaster wife. Racetrack? Guys, I flew with them. Semper Frack and Fry. Damn it. Wait, Connor was talking. They got people ready to move on every deck. The hangar deck's just a beachhead. They want the ship. Oh, Zarek played me just right. Must have made some new friends. Yeah, with a hell of a lot of firepower. Vipers, Raptors, gun batteries. You know, we can't do this alone. Kara. Right now. All we can count on is you and me. Take a breath, Lee. Feels good being alive, doesn't it? What the hell was that? <laughs> Feeling right for the first time in weeks. Okay, Kara, my dad, where is he? He was in the CIC when communications crapped out. Okay, CIC's protected. He won't give up without a fight. The president? No, no. All right, come with me. Go. What do they have down there, a forest fire? Where the frack are my damage reports? Admiral, sensors are still showing red, but these trace gas readings don't make any sense. They're normal. If something was burning down there, the carbon monoxide levels would be spiking through the roof. If the fires compromise our sensors, it's possible all of our readings are suspect. With communications out, we have no way of verifying anything. All I know is I'm tired of being blind. Private Jaffe, double timer down to sea deck. Check in with the damage control team, get the reports, and haul ass back. Yes, sir. Drop him. Hey. See you real soon. Carl. They're going to kill us. Sam, can you get me something to stop the bleeding? Yeah, all right. Don't you see? Our children represent everything that the humans hate. With Resurrection gone, the thought that the Cylon race could survive through natural procreation Enough. You're scaring her. 
Right now, they need us alive. To use as bargaining chips against the rebel Cylons. Especially you. Look, if you're expecting some grand wisdom, you can forget it. I don't have any more answers than you do. Well, you might want to keep that to yourself. Admiral, I checked the array. The equipment's been jury rigged. Sensors Sergeant too. of the guards, get your Marines in here. Nobody gets in or out. What the hell are you doing? What is this? Admiral Adama, I am removing you from command of this ship. I am taking you into custody on the charge of treason. You swore an oath when you put that uniform on. You pledged to defend this ship and her crew. You swore the same allegiance. What happened to your oath? For seven years, I have done my fracking job, and for what? To take orders from a Cylon? To let machines network our ship? No, you, you are not the leader that you were when we started. You're just a sad old man that has let his heart and his affection for a Cylon cloud his judgment. I want you all to understand this. If you do this, there will be no forgiveness, no amnesty. This boy died honoring his uniform. You. You'll die with nothing. Sergeant of the guards, take the senior staff, put them in a holding cell, place Admiral Adama and Colonel Ty under arrest. Do it! Sir. Don't touch me. Please, sir. Take him. 